In version 23 we've added taper compensation. Now this is mostly going to be used on water jets, although it can be used on other machines such as the plasma. We might need to do this. If I open up my part in the 3D world, I'm going to turn on the show bottom tool path just to be able to demonstrate this a little bit better. And when I apply a tool path, you'll notice that I get a green tool path on the top of my part. And then when I switch to the bottom view here, it's a yellow tool path. And that yellow tool path is right on the edge of the model. And that's normal. So when I go to simulation now for this circle that doesn't have any bevels on it, and I look at my rotor and tilt, they should be at zero because I don't have taper crash compensation turned on right now. But if I open up my rule manager, we have a new setting for taper angle rules. I'm gonna turn that on and then I'm gonna open it up and show you a little bit. Under these rules, we have our typical criteria so that you can separate out and create rules for different material types and different thicknesses. And the reason that somebody might do that is because of the taper that they see on different materials and thicknesses could vary. So I'll open up my rule and I've set my max angle adjustment to negative five and that's so that in this demonstration you can really see the difference. So now when I apply NC, I get that same green and yellow tool path. But when I switch to the bottom, you'll notice that even my straight cut hole now, the yellow tool path is offset a little bit and then there on this edge we're offset as well. So I'll switch back to this view and simulate this and I'm going to switch to this view here so that you can see that the rotor and tilt now are adjusted as we cut around this straight cut circle. So for this straight cut circle we're cutting it, cutting it with a negative five degree angle with the expectation that when we're done that circle will be perfectly straight with no taper at all and then the rest of our bevels here will all come out at the defined angle as opposed to offset by a little bit because of that natural taper. And as we finish up our simulation, we'll click done and send this part back to Sigma Nest in our 2D view and you'll notice that the red and gray lines that are typically there for a bevel are offset by a little bit and that is exactly where our taper compensation is coming into play.